So we need to do the following things to ensure your remote play is all set up working correctly. So you want to go to settings, you want to go to system, and then you want to go to remote play, and here you want to click enable remote play. You can tell it's an enabled when the thing is all, all the way to the right. You see how it turns white. And then what we want to do is we want to enable remote play to work even when the PlayStation 5 is on rest mode because I'm actually moving country so I need to play my PlayStation 5. So what you want to do is on the same menu you want to go to power savings and here you want to click on features available in rest mode. Okay. Obviously this is already pre-clicked but make sure it's clicked because this will enable your PlayStation 5 to turn on via the network from remote play. So before we start remote playing with the Mac and the PlayStation 5, we're gonna have to connect the PlayStation 5 controller to the MacBook. If you wanna know how to do this, please look at the card attached where I show you a step-by-step -step guide. It's PlayStation 5 Remote Play Mac, and the first result you should see will be Remote Play DL download from the official PlayStation Store. And you see here, you need to be on these are following OS's and have at least 40 MB and two gigabyte RAM. So here it is, install the app. Boom, you download. You don't need to tell me how to install an app on your MacBook, but in case you do, just run through the prompts. Launch the app and you want to select your PlayStation. Now, if you haven't signed in before, it's gonna give you a prompt where you have to put in a special digit code that you can find on your PlayStation dashboard. If your laptop and PlayStation is connected by the same Wi-Fi, you won't have to input this code. Now it takes a couple minutes in order to connect to the PlayStation. As you can see, I've successfully remote playing on my MacBook. Now, to make the best connection possible, make sure your PlayStation 5 is very close to your router or it has a wired connection because if it has bad Wi-Fi, you're gonna have very bad streaming capabilities. If this video helped you, please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.